Hi, Tollies. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm going to guys five seconds to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Alright, Tollies, if you're already part of the channel, welcome back. This video is to talk about victim mentality. I know you guys have seen it, heard of it lately. I want to talk about what defines victim mentality and what are the ways to get out of that type of mentality. So if you want to know the ways, then keep on watching. Number one is getting out of your comfort zone and calling yourself out. If you're like me, who's just really embedded into their family and friends, you know that we all find comfort and validity from the people that are closest to us. Those are the people that see us in our most vulnerable times, that see us through the good and bad, that have known us for a long amount of time. So you tend to kind of go to your closest people, your closest loved ones, and to ask them for help or to ask them for an opinion on things, which is normal. Nobody's saying it's not normal. You can do that. However, we find ourselves abusing the opportunity of continually asking for help from the same type of people and knowing the outcome of those answers. Things are always gonna be one-sided when it comes to anybody's answers from the people that are closest to you. So I think that we have to find a neutral or a balance with asking our loved ones for help or asking our loved ones for advice or a road map on how to do things because in reality, yes, we're not perfect. We all have our mistakes and our past. However, I feel like at a very, very grown age, we have to come to terms where it's like, okay, I don't really need to ask my brother or my sister or my mom or dad for help. Like, I need to do this on my own without anybody's help through the gutter and all by myself trying to figure out a way to come out of this. And I feel like it's just 10 times more rewarding and worth it and fulfilling when you actually can have an issue or situation at hand and you can figure it out by yourself. And I think that's just, you know, bragging props if you wanna say for yourself, but I feel like that's just such a liberating feeling when it's like, okay, yeah, I know. Usually I would go to so-and-so for help, but I can do this on my own. Ooh, so I I know I'm about to get some little side eyes from this, but you need a friend. You need a friend to call you out on your BS. You need a friend to call you out on your BS. You need a friend to tell you, hey, this is not working. And all of my friends know that I am not anywhere timid where I'm not gonna tell a friend how I feel. However, sometimes I can definitely be a little bit more passionate on the passionate side of telling how it is to my friends without like easing my way or, you know, just kind of gradually getting to what I need to say. I've been way, way worse back in the day with my friends than I am now, and my friends can be attest to that. I used to just be rings blazing, word vomiting, just going off, not caring how the tone was, not caring how the delivery was, just saying anything out my mouth. And come maturity, come with aging, I thank God that I am able to gather my thoughts, gather my emotions, and actually telling my friends, my dear, dear friends, of how I feel about certain things. And I feel like it goes both ways. Like, if I can be comfortable to tell you as a friend of how I feel, then you should be comfortable as a friend to accept how I feel as well. And don't take it any type of way. Don't take it like I'm bashing or anything, but you really, really, really need tough love. Like, I really believe that in society today, we don't see enough tough love. We see a lot of enabling, a lot. To the point where it really, to the point where it really, really just irks my nerves because it's like, that person doesn't need enabling right now. This person needs like the hard truth, the harsh reality of the situation right now. 
And if we continue to enable our friends and our family, the cycle will continue to happen. And for me, I'm a solution-based friend. I'm always going to give you solutions on top of solutions, but I just really, really, I think it's coming from my age now, maybe me just each year becoming impatient, but I really cannot stand when somebody comes to me to just talk about something that we've already talked about for like the last 300 times, and the last 300 times I gave you some really, really good advice, and you just said, oh, forget the advice that you've given me, I'm going to talk about it again. I just think that's very considerate and I feel like you're wasting your friend's time and you're wasting your time because there is changes to be made and like life continues to move on. And if we continue to dwell on the past and dwell on what we could have done, we will never succeed. We will never advance. We will never evolve. So I really, really do believe that you have to call your family and friends out. I've lost some connections with doing that, with giving tough love or giving the harsh reality, or I've had friends become a little distant, which is fine too, but I'm not gonna sit here and regret anything I've told the people that I care about. And I feel like you shouldn't either, you know? If you really want to become a badass individual, you really need to accept the good, the bad, and the ugly. Into the last point, number three, is sometimes you just have to call yourself out. <laughs> sometimes you don't need a friend, sometimes you don't need a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a wife or a husband. Sometimes you just need to call yourself out. You, as in you, you need to call yourself out. I have always been the type of person where it's like, okay, if so-and-so isn't telling me, then maybe I have to dig a little bit deeper as to why this keeps happening every single time. You know? You know how you just look at something or a situation that you're dealing with and you're just like, okay, why is this outcome keep happening to me over and over and over and over and over again? And you'd be like, hmm, maybe it's me. <laughs> maybe I have to change my surroundings maybe I have to change my approach on things you know I always believe in certain situations where it's just like no effort or no response is a response or an effort so when you just don't give anything to the situation sometimes most likely actually not even sometimes you see the answer for yourself the signs are there the answer comes to you what you want or what you're thinking about comes to you and you're like, oh, okay. So I got my sign now and it's time to kind of dip out or change some things. And I think the power of social media has us in this realm of things where it's just like, oh yeah, it's not me, it's you. <laughs> sometimes it be us, sometimes it be you. It Sometimes it, it's you. Mindset is everything. It is everything. I tell my husband all the time, I remind myself all the time, your mindset is everything. How you wake up and how you start your thoughts for the day matters. How you wake up on in a bad attitude or you wake up in a, in a good mood matters. It affects your day. I, I swear people don't understand that the power of the tongue is so powerful, it's ridiculous. It's literally insane. Like, I seen so many things that happened in my life that you cannot tell me that the power of the tongue is not real. Manifestation is not real. It's all the way real. When you apply good work ethic behind good words to yourself, that positive mindset to yourself, everything starts to fall into twine everything starts to fall into full circle things start to come along things are going well for you it's like a good train of good things for you however i've seen days where i'm doubting myself i'm comparing myself to other influencers i'm looking back on what I could have done better or what I should have done here or you know my life and my career and I just have a bad day like the world is against me like I don't want to do anything I'm unmotivated I don't want to go to the gym I don't want to work I don't want to talk to anybody like 
it literally seeps out of you all that ne negativity like you literally look like a negative woman negative nancy right and i don't think that that glow that everybody sees in you that powerful glow comes from being negative it always comes from you being positive you have to be positive and i feel like people were like always want to gravitate more positive people i feel like however miserable people do attract miserable people so don't put all that over here i don't want none of that okay like it's all positive things over here i like to be around positive driven people i like to be around nice people if you're not nice you won't see me <laughs> i like nice people so yeah i feel like my set is always going to be a pioneer and a priority in making sure you don't fall into that victim mentality number five is find the solution most out of the 10 times this problem that you have can be fixed i really feel like people just like to complain and complain and complain and not find a solution on things it drives me insane like i'm not about to sit here for two or three or four or five hours to talk about the same thing that you talked about last week and we gave you a solution on how to approach it and you don't want that solution so you want to sit here and complain about it again i don't want it I don't want it I don't want it I know in this life that we live in there's always a way there is always a way but if we continue to fall into that trap of like there's no way out like this is it oh my gosh woe is me yeah we, we, we might not be able to gel I really believe that all of the problems that arise in our lives or the situations that we come to face with is always a test from God. I feel like my last year and a half has been insane. Like the best and worst times of my life has happened in the last year and a half, almost two years. Somebody in my situation could have been like I'm done I'm not doing YouTube anymore I'm gonna just do my regular nine to five not be motivated not go to the gym not be a sister not be a friend a daughter a wife I could have just been like you know what this is it losing a parent has to be the worst thing I could ever 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 experience in my life ever you know and I think my relationship with God has gotten me to a point where I believe and I've been taught with by my mom is that this place that we live in right now is not our permanent residency at the end of the day everybody has an expiration date we don't know when ours is but everybody has an expiration date and your relationship with God has to be utmost the most important relationship in your whole entire life. Because when you don't have that relationship with him, everything is around you just is not well. Everything is just chaotic. And I feel like even though I'm not where I want to be in my career and I'm not where I want to be in my influencer career, I have seen so many changes and progress this year that it's only him to thank. It's only him to think that I didn't crumble under a rock and cry my eyes out every day. It's only him that I can think that I've been, you know, collabing with different brands and growing my YouTube family and doing well in my career. It's, it's only him to think. We always have to understand that things that happen to our life is not because that, you know, the world hates us. No. It's literally a test from him to know how how bad, how big do you believe in him that you'll get on the other side of things and see the light. How big do you believe in him? So yeah, it's I, I really, really truly do believe that, you know, it's a test from God. Doing a little bit every day and making sure you count your blessings do a little bit you know i think everybody has like a to-do list a little to-do list and a big to-do list even if you don't accomplish everything on your to-do list it's not the end of the world <laughs> it's not the end of the world 
it is okay to you know be like okay i'm gonna do this tomorrow tomorrow morning because i didn't get a chance to do it today that's okay i don't hang yourself up man i the people around you with this whole social media thing people will make it seem around you or what you see on 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 these apps make it look like oh yeah they've gotten everything done they're doing this and that you guys don't know what happens behind closed doors social media is a fake world as an influencer i'm telling you right now social media is a fake world you don't know the hours the amount of time and sacrifices these people that you see on these apps do to accomplish the things that they do it is very very hard man i've seen people you know travel the world and do all this other stuff and they're in debt they're in debt they're 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 trying to make ends meet with their bills this is a fake world do not take this stuff seriously guys i'm telling you it will ruin your mind ruin your life to think that everything you see on these apps is real it's not it's not real it is not real make sure you look into your life and you see okay like i have a roof over my head i have clean water i have a job i have a good car to drive i have clothes i can do my hair i can get my nails done every two weeks always remind yourself you are blessed i love to tell and thank God every day for granting me another day to accomplish what I need to accomplish today. I always wake up and say, thank you, Jesus. Before I even hit my phone, thank you, Jesus. My mom instilled in us growing up to always wake up every day and the first word out your mouth should be thank you, Jesus, because guess what? God granted you another day, another day to accomplish anything you want to accomplish in this life. To, to go one step closer to your dreams or to your goals, where there's millions of people that didn't even get to see this morning. Once you start to count your blessings every day, I promise you, life becomes much easier. I promise you it does. I promise you it does. I tell myself, do not overwhelm yourself. Just have three duties that you write on your list of to do today. And if you can accomplish those three duties, you accomplish the whole day. <laughs> you accomplish the whole day. You're good, you're good to go, you know? Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't make this crazy list, unrealistic list, and get mad at yourself when you only hit three or four things out of that list. Be realistic in your duties. Be realistic. Be realistic in your lifestyle. Don't overcompensate. Don't be in that mindset of keeping up with the Joneses. Be on your level. Just accomplish what you can accomplish in your level and then we can go to level six, level seven. But when you start to like jump from level five to level 15, that's when problems start to arise because it's not organic and it's not authentic. So those are the points of getting yourself out of the victim mentality i hope this could really connect with some of you guys this is literally coming from my heart i really 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 gravitate to these points because i apply them to my own life as well so it's not just these points that i'm telling you as a teacher like i apply these points to my everyday life and i just thank god that i can give the same input and information to you guys so you can apply that in your own lives so thank you guys for watching this is it don't forget to like share subscribe and i hope you guys enjoy the video bye